So traditionally, women over the age of 40 will get a mammogram. And what we've realized over the last 10 or 15 years is that 40% of women have dense breasts. What does having dense breasts mean? It is a two-fold disadvantage to a, a woman with fatty breasts. First, it fundamentally increases her chance of having breast cancer. And second, it increases the risk that her cancer will be missed because of her breast density on a mammogram. So we're working to find better solutions to solve that problem. For women with dense breasts, ultrasound has been proven to find more cancers than having a mammogram alone. And what Invenia ABUS 2.0 allows us to do is use ultrasound to take a 3D volume of the breast all at one time that can be reviewed much like a standard mammogram. It separates the acquisition, which has a lot of interoperator variability, from the rate review, which allows the entire volume of the breast to be viewed at one time with the mammogram to find more cancers than uh, a mammogram alone. So we're trying to solve for the problem uh, that is called the dense breast tissue. Mammogram and tomogram um, shows dense breast tissue white and cancer is white as well. So it's like looking for a snowball in a snowstorm. For those women that have dense breast tissue, if we do adjunct screening with ultrasound, we can find those cancers because cancer is black on ultrasound and dense breast tissue is white on ultrasound. So this is an ideal candidate. She came in for screening MAMO. At the same time, she was offered screening ultrasound as well, which was done with automated breast ultrasound. And if we look at this, the green line is our uh, 15 centimeter probe. It acquires the images inferior to superior. And as it's scanning, the thing to notice is that every part of this image is in focus at any given time. We do not do focal zone dependent imaging because we don't know where the cancer is. The whole image near to far field, one end to the other, has to be in perfect focus at any given moment because we have to be able to find those two, three, four, five millimeter cancers. So what the physicians end up doing is they have a global perspective of the breast, which is the 3D data set. They go front to back, one click at a time. They're looking for any kind of speculation, black holes, asymmetry in the breast. If they see something, all they have to do is click on it. Then they have the virtual data to go through. They can pan in and out and look for the speculations, the, um, the mass that they're following, how, how much is it invading into the surrounding breast tissue. They can also ro do a rotation, a 360, to make sure that this mass is truly what they think it is and it doesn't dissipate in different planes. They can do quick measurements. We have quick workflow tools where we can turn calipers on. We can throw a marker in if we needed to. And then what happens is if we go to our worksheet, it brings up, it tells us that that area of interest is at four o'clock, 10 millimeters underneath the skin and about four and a half cm from the nipple. And it measures three centimeters. So that is the reporting or the worksheet that goes on. So what was not seen on MAMO, which is right here, there is a four centimeter cancer that was hiding in the dense breast tissue. And this is why adjunct screening for women with dense breasts and personalizing the care for women based on their, um, densi based on their density and risk assessment is quite very important. Invenia ABUS 2.0 is the only ultrasound product that's FDA approved for finding more cancers in breast cancer screening. Invenia ABUS 2.0 in, in introduces a number of new features focused on improving workflow, improving image quality, and making the entire experience of 3D ultrasound much better for the patient and for the radiologist.